filled to the rim, to literally the rim of vomit. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. And today I kind of fancied customising and painting my own doormat. How thrilling. I know that sounds like a little bit of a crap idea or a little bit of a naff idea, but the paints I bought and the mat I bought, I just want to see how kind of practical it is. I've seen people do it online and I've seen people do a really good job, but I'm just curious about the strength of it all. But I've got a cool little idea lodged in my head somewhere and yeah, let's let's paint a doormat. I've never been more bored in my life. Okay, so I've got my doormat here and if we look at it, it's basically just a piece of carpet because when I went to the shops, they didn't have any like proper, you know, the like brown spiky doormats. That's what I wanted to do. They didn't have any that didn't have like a load of crap printed all over them already. So this is the only plain thing I could find, just a raggedy bit of carpet. But it's fine, I'm gonna make it work. And then also, I was trying to figure out what kind of paint would be the best for painting on fabric. And I don't think fabric paint would be the best. Fabric paint, it'll just be a bit shitty for painting on like a proper doormat. So I went for this. So I've got different colours of like an enamel, fast drying. I don't know, what, what's it for? It says it can be used for wood, metal, paper, ceramics, cardboard and most plastics. So I think it'll be fine for like carpet and stuff. And I've got loads of different colours. So I've got like blue, white, red, green, yellow pink and black. I think this will be a fun little idea, fun little project. I hope so. I hope I bought the right things. Also, I hope everyone's realised that things might look a bit different and things might look a bit clearer, a bit neater, just a bit nicer and the quality might be like, you know, on its way up because I bought two brand new cameras. This one's a new one and that one's a new one and it cost me a fortune. I put it on my credit card so it's fine. Who pays for it? Nobody you write it off. But also you'll have to bear with us if things might look a bit different or a bit weird when I'm recording because I'm trying to get used to them. All the settings on them, I've gone through like menu after menu after menu trying to make the video look like what I want it to look like. I'm gonna have to like filter it and edit it when it comes to obviously the editing process because I look in this viewfinder that I can see, this very complicated viewfinder, I look so pasty and pale. <laughs> on my other camera, I set like the temperature up a little bit so that I looked a bit more alive and less dead because in reality I am like a ghost. I am that pale. I look sick. Like I look like I'm pooly. Also I'm filming at a bit more of a high definition so you might potentially see a wrinkle and if you do just, just don't look at us. I'm shy. Don't look at us. But hopefully we can tell the difference. If we can't tell the difference then I've just wasted like a shitload of money and I'd be well upset. Anyway I think we should draw my little pattern out first before I get painting just so I can space things out. So I want my message to be very inclusive and very friendly. If someone's coming into my house, I want them to feel welcomed. So I think I'm gonna write hi bitch. Hi. I think that's nice and it sets the tone. You know what to expect when you enter my home. I want it kind of quirky and fun. I don't want it like bog standard because otherwise what's the point? But I was kind of shocked that I couldn't find just a very plain doormat when I was at the shop. Obviously I didn't shop around. I only went to the one shop. But like every single brown, brusly kind of doormat had stupid patterns and pictures on. It's like I don't want that. That. I want to write my own on. Big bitch. Shall we do a big bitch? Not as in like, hi big bitch, but make bitch big. And I don't have the nicest handwriting, so don't judge us. I'm doing nice like bubble writing, so hopefully it'll look okay. I'm gonna run out of space, I know I am. Oh my god, I fitted in perfectly. That is shocking. Nice little exclamation mark too. Fun. And then obviously I'm gonna decorate around it, but I'll freehand that I think. I don't want to kind of draw it on. Okay, let's go for colours. Bring this to life. I always have to do like a sniff test with paint. This is your brain on drugs. I don't know what it smells like. I can't really smell it. It doesn't smell like an acrylic or anything. Right, let's see how good this paint's gonna be. It's very, very watery, which is kind of good actually. Just don't make any mistakes and. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a little bit of an issue because obviously I'm painting on carpet and it's absorbent and it's just eating this paint up, but that's fine. It's just gonna take a lot of paint to color all of this in. Also, if anyone's wondering, yes, I am feeling better from last week, thank you for asking. I'm still a little bit like sniffly and a bit chesty and stuff, but I'm definitely a lot, lot better than what I was. And like I've been back at work and stuff and everyone is getting sick. Like so many people are getting like the flu and just getting pooly and stuff. It's clearly going 
everyone around. But that's what happens when you work in a hospital. There's germs absolutely everywhere. I don't know whether I told you, but like a couple of weeks ago, there was this lady who was obviously very poorly and she was kind of like hunched over one of the beds and like vomiting into this dish. And I popped my head in just to make sure she was okay and stuff and asked her if she wanted anything. And she wanted a glass of water. And I was like, absolutely fine. I'll go grab you a glass of water. And then I proceeded to give her the water and she handed me a bowl filled to the rim, to literally the rim of vomit. And with me, bodily fluids don't bother us. I don't mind like piss, shit, blood, anything like that. The one thing I don't like is vomit. And I got handed a very, very big, thick bowl of warm vomit. And obviously you can't say anything. You can't be like, eh, don't give us that. I was just like, oh, thank you. Thanks for your sick. <laughs> Hopefully she was okay in the end. I'm not sure what actually happened to her. She wasn't one of our patients. I was just checking in on her, making sure she was all right. <laughs> well, I've got my paintbrush out. I'll use the same color on this C. I think it's weird as well. Like when you work in a hospital, nothing really like phases you or anything. You just kind of get used to it all. Like the sights you see and the things you see and all kind of things like you hear and stuff. You just, you basically just get used to it. It's just a, another Day. I think people who work in hospitals are built differently and you have to be really you can't be like squeamish or anything like that I'll give too much away You just have to put a brave face on things and just get on with it really This isn't looking too bad, you know Obviously like I said the carpet's absolutely eaten this paint, but I think that's quite nice, isn't it? That's all right It looks really orange on this viewfinder. It's a lot more red in person I'm definitely gonna have to fix like the color and stuff, right? I think I'll speed through and get all my text done and then we'll see about filling in a bit of this negative space and and put some nice decoration on, because that'll be fun. Oh, keep pressing the wrong button. Where's the off button? Okay, so I've finished colouring that in. And surprisingly, colouring on carpet and like painting on carpet, it's a lot more forgiven than I thought it was going to be. Like, I feel like you can be a little bit rough and ready with it and it doesn't really matter too much. But that's what I've got at the moment. And I think that's really cute. Look at it, it's very colourful. You might notice that there's no blue on this and that's because... <gasps> Oh no, I've just dropped it all over here. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, I've ruined it. <laughs> I was opening the paint and the, a string of the blue paint's fallen off onto this. How am I gonna rescue this? But basically, this paint is all like gelatinized and gone like jelly, so it's unusable. I don't know what's happened to this one. It's the only one that's done that. But give us one second, I'm gonna have to try and rescue this. Oh, balls. I can't believe I did that. Oh, fuck. This has actually taken me a long time to do as well. I'm not gonna rub. Let's just see if I can kind of pick the strand off. Come on. <gasps> okay, I got it off the brown, and then all the others I can just kind of paint over, hopefully. Oh, you know what? It's coming off. It's coming off all right. Give us some more paper towel. Stat! I wouldn't care. I was so careful not to spill any paint anywhere else. And then at the very last second, I go and do that with a paint that I didn't even use. Fortunately, it is coming off. I'm shocked. All right, this white section is the bit I'm worried about. It's going to blend into that white I knew it was. I'm just going to retouch that white and retouch that red a little bit, because I'm not happy about that. Okay, quite is averted that's fine and anyway my plan for the decoration part originally I wanted to kind of put like flowers in this and stuff but now that I don't have any blue and I'm limited for colors I don't really see the point of doing flowers and I was gonna freehand them as well so now I'm thinking I might just do some like nice kind of stripey bits and just like wavy bits just to kind of frame this and add a little bit more decoration and I'm drawing it on because I know for a fact I'll, I'll get lost off with what I'm doing and I won't know what colors what I think that'll look quite nice since it's coloured in actually. I hope I've got enough paint. I'm running very low. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm finally done, and I'm actually quite pleased with it. How cute is that? That's actually really fun. It's turned out way better than I thought. I feel like it's given almost like a 60s kind of vibe. I know it's a bit cartoonish, and I know it's a bit like... I don't know, it looks as if like a child's done it, but I still really enjoy it. I've got proper like kids handwriting, don't I? And I wish the blue had worked. It needs another colour just to break everything up. And surprisingly, I think the paint's quite strong, even on this carpet. Obviously, I think if you're rubbing your boots over it and your shoes over it and rubbing shit into it and stuff, it's not gonna stay very vibrant and last a very long time. But for decoration, and maybe it's like sock traffic, I think it'll hold up. I think it'll be all right. But I think that's a fun little project. If you're wanting something to do and you know, snazz something up, 
customize a doormat, I would highly recommend it. But anyway, I think that just about does it for today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments whether this is a craft project you'll be attempting. I obviously can't testify as to whether enamel paint was the best paint for this, but I don't know, it worked all right for me. And it was very easy to paint with. I don't know how easy it would be to paint on like a proper bristly doormat, but like a scratchy little bit of carpet perfectly fine. Also, I did want to say a big thank you to Gen Gen VT for becoming an exclusive DIO. You very important orange you. And I'll see you next week for a brand new video. I'm really hoping when I edit, I can like warm this up a little bit. I'm sure I will be able to, because if you could see us now, honestly, you'd think I was sick. I look so pasty and pale. It's horrible. I'm so pale. I wish I lived like somewhere sunnier where, I don't know, I just had a bit more colour in my skin. There's the, the, I'm almost transparent. I just need a holiday. I want a nice sunny holiday and just get like nice and golden because I tan really well I tan so well for a very pale person I tan exceptionally well and I know I whinge about it a lot but the amount of rain we've had this winter it just doesn't seem to stop I know I only mentioned it not long ago about pissing down with rain but it got that bad that it started to leak through my ceiling literally my house has fallen down because of rain that's how much rain we've had we should just all piss off I'm sick of the rain <laughs>